Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. Thank you for joining me here on Carolina Homestead with Tommy Bites TV. So today we're gonna be doing a rich gooey butter cake. I got this recipe from Peggy, from Peggy and Don's channel. It was so good. I made it a few days ago. Um, it was pretty much halfway gone a day or two later. And so I'll insert some pictures of that. Everything. So I did it with the yellow cake box. Um, this time I'm gonna do a little different. This time I'm gonna kinda of cater to my youngest daughter because I made my son a peppermint cheesecake. I have made my husband a German chocolate cake. Look out for those videos coming soon. And she's been wanting chocolate cake. So I had the yellow cake mixed out and I was like, wait a minute, let me do this for her. So here we go. Let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. You're gonna need one box cake, one egg, one stick of melted butter. I have my melted butter on the stove, so. this time? Is it ever since July? I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you. The white chocolate smell flavor. I'm gonna use this espresso that I used in my German chocolate cake. So I'm gonna use one of these instant espresso coffee packets. I'm only gonna use one teaspoon of that. And then I'm also gonna use one teaspoon of the chocolate syrup. I usually don't crack my egg in here because in case the egg is not any good, you don't mess up your whole bowl. So here's my melted butter. Don't forget, I gotta do it this way so y'all can see. So y'all can see the goodness. Y'all, this cake was so good. Like they were seriously waiting for it to cool off. When I came back to take a picture of it, I had gotten a picture after it cooled off, but once I came back, I was like, are you serious right now? wait the top when I have this running you want it to be a doughy consistency like if you're making um, biscuits um, but Peggy guess what that I put under the tree tomorrow it is Christmas like a doughy consistency even though I've never made uh, biscuits from scratch it, it's like a play-doh feel it's gonna come together like this I hope the camera is picking it up great oh this smells so good this is basically you know how you pick up play-doh when you're cleaning up I used to have a child care center and it was so difficult to get the play-doh off of the tables so once you get the wad you could just come in like this and then pick it up and it'll get any extra play-doh and in this case dough off the bowl this is very stress relieving so now if i move this bowl aside We'll bring it back in a few minutes. Now we're gonna bring out our pan. I hope you can see that. And you're just gonna start from myself in a cabin out of nowhere. Just us and no one knows. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Ooh. 
one stick of Philadelphia cream cheese, two eggs, three cups of powdered sugar. saving my eggshells for my garden. It adds a lot of uh, nitrogen to your soil. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna start adding a cup at a time of three cups of powdered sugar. of my bowl. Got to taint, maintain those edges. So now I'm going to add the vanilla, one teaspoon. And just because you're adding like the, if you do the chocolate, you can still add your um, vanilla to it. Espresso, one teaspoon of that. Anytime you mix espresso with chocolate, it takes that flavor up a notch. into the oven for 55 minutes at 350 degrees. It is done. It looks so good. It's nice and crispy, crusty. And I checked it with, um, instead of a toothpick, I checked it with, you're supposed to use like a butter knife course with the kids being home everything's probably dirty so I had to use the end of the spoon in order to do it and now I'm just gonna put some powdered sugar on it Ooh, that looks so good I wish I could smell it so I'm gonna hold my sifter over here how to carry on on your own Since I got a good look in his eyes I just knew that he was special He said he wanted to take it slow But I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Cause everything but each other are honestly 
So we're gonna let this cool for about an hour and then we'll come back and cut it up and taste it. We're gonna taste the gooey butter cake. I can't wait. So as you can see, that thing looks good. Okay, wash it up and serve it up to myself. My kids already been looking like, um, what, what? Oh, yeah. Should have put a big piece. Let him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. Really? <laughs> Y'all, my son was over there taking the last couple of pieces of the other butter cake that I made. <laughs> That looks so good. Oh. So y'all, I was so excited to try it. I forgot to hit the record button. So I've already taken about three bites off of this. Give you a close up. Uh-oh, hold on. Let me give you a close up of this. Goodness on this plate. Oh my god, y'all. It is so good. Now I have to do another bite just so y'all can see. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to say. The yellow cake that I made with the butter cake. Good, good, good. This one. This is my new favorite chocolate cake. I'm just saying, this is my new favorite chocolate cake. And I had to bring this out because I didn't, I forgot to do this with the other one, with the yellow cake one. Oh, I need something super there. I just wanted just a dollop. Just a dollop. I've been this excited about some cake in a long time. Want some? You don't even need the whipped cream. You don't. So to recap, for this chocolate one, for the chocolate gooey butter cake. For the chocolate gooey butter cake, all I did was use the chocolate cake mix by Betty Crocker. And then you saw the whole process, but when I got to the filling, the filling is when I added that one teaspoon of espresso instant coffee and if you like coffee, go on and put it in there. You're not, it's not going to taste like coffee, I promise you. It's just going to make that, it's going to enhance the chocolate in there. And when I tell you, I'm about to eat this whole thing in front of y'all. I'm sorry. And then I also added that one teaspoon of the Hershey's um, liquid in the, the um, you know, we make the chocolate milk with. Mm. 
Lord Jesus. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Share it out with your neighbors and your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go on and join the family. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a video. Don't forget to like the video because this helps the channel a lot. It almost, this part right here, the end, it almost has like a cookie taste to it. Mm. Mm. I promise you, this is good. This is better than a Nestle Toll House cookie. Oh, yeah. oh, not intend to eat the whole thing. I just told my husband I was gonna make sure I cut him some of this off. If I forget, I'm gonna end up having to make another one. This right here, this right here is fire. No, sorry. <laughs> y'all, thank y'all for joining the channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for um, supporting the channel. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Stay tuned. I have more um, videos of baking, which I'm not a baker. And maybe some more cooking videos. I also have my gardening that I'm trying to get ready for spring. And y'all, I want to incorporate um, some things on this homestead over here. So y'all stay tuned for that to see what it is and what I'm talking about. So I will see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be. Make sure you love yourself and then go out and spread God's love with distance because of Rona. Thank y'all. Thanks, Peggy. It was good. I can't wait. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe, and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree